Today's video is about being sexy. 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 Today, we're talking about why kidney disease is sexy. What's up, San Antonio and world? I'm Dr. Kasim Butt, and I'm a kidney doctor. And welcome to Your Kidneys, Your Health, the premier channel for you to understand your body and your health in a simple way. I'm gonna ask you to be a little bit more interactive on this episode. So if you yourself have kidney disease, or you know someone that has kidney disease, or perhaps you're a healthcare provider dealing with kidney disease, please leave a comment in the comment section below just expressing how kidney disease has affected you. Also, please share this video, like my Facebook page, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So what do you mean kidney disease is sexy? Well, what I mean by that is kidney disease never gets the respect that it truly deserves or the attention that it truly deserves. So why is that? Perhaps as us nephrologists, some of us can be a little awkward. And oftentimes you can find a cooler guy at a Star Trek convention. Everyone's parents wants them to grow up to be cardiologists or neurosurgeons. All the cool TV shows, they're about ER doctors and surgeons. But us nephrologists, we get no love. All kidding aside, kidney disease is serious. And because no one knows about it, it lacks the awareness, the prevention, and the research that's allotted to a lot of other diseases like heart disease and cancer. So here are the top three reasons why kidney disease is sexy. Number one, kidney disease is expensive. This is particularly true when it comes to dialysis. You see, when the kidneys fail and can no longer support life, you have to perform dialysis. And in the process of this, you are taken to a dialysis unit three times a week, either Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And on that session, what they do is they take the blood out of you, put it on a machine, clean it for you, then return it back to you. Each session is four hours. And again, it's three times a week. Now, not only is this time consuming, this is also very expensive. The average dialysis patient can cost around seventy dollars to $80,000 per year. Now, times that by hundreds of thousands of dialysis patients, and you can see how this can get really, really expensive. In the United States, we pay about $33 billion, over, excuse me, over $33 billion a year just for dialysis patients. Now, most of the costs of dialysis are taken up by Medicare. That's right. This is coming out of your paycheck. You see that payroll tax you pay, the FICA portion? Part of that actually goes to support kidney disease and dialysis. In fact, uh, dialysis patients represent about less than 1%, less than 1% of all Medicare patients. But they actually take up over 7% of total Medicare expenditures. Number two, there are a lot of people with kidney disease. The prevalence of kidney disease is significant. In the United States, there are about 30 million people with kidney disease. That's about 15% of the entire U.S. adult population. Also, the number of people on dialysis in the United States is approaching 500,000 people. That's crazy, right? I bet you never thought it was that high. Now, that's half a million people. That's roughly the population of the state of Wyoming. Now, the concentration of kidney disease varies by region, ethnicities, and socioeconomic status. But I can tell you in my personal experience in San Antonio, there are certain neighborhoods that have more dialysis units than Starbucks. In fact, one dialysis unit I go to on the west side of town here is in a shopping center. And within that shopping center, there's actually two separate dialysis units. And a few blocks away, there's another dialysis unit. And by the way, ain't nobody in that neighborhood ordering a chai latte because there is no Starbucks there. Number three, kidney disease leads to a lot of suffering. Again, most of you have not heard of this disease, so therefore you have no idea how much this actually hurts people. Well, I see it every day. People who have kidney disease have to deal with issues ranging from swelling to shortness of breath, diet restrictions, transportation to and from a dialysis unit, cramping, repeated hospitalizations, and worst of all, death. You want to know the scariest statistic? 
Once a patient starts dialysis, they have an average lifespan of about five to 10 years. Now, if you were told you had cancer and had five years to live, that would scare the crap out of you. But that's just it. Cancer scares you. It has your attention. Therefore, it gets a lot of funding for research, awareness, and fundraising campaigns. But the disease I see does not. Despite kidney disease causing a lot of suffering, affecting a lot of people, and taking a lot of money out of your wallet, it gets no attention. So I'm here to say that kidney disease is sexy. So again, I'm trying to make this more interactive. So if you've been affected by kidney disease as a patient, friend, family member, or as a healthcare provider, please leave some comments in the comment section below about how it's affected you. Also share or like this video, like my Facebook page, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And remember, it's your kidneys, your health.